this is another spot on four green in which we're going to remove some sod, uh, an area that was once collar, you can see here. This was the old collar line. We pushed this out to green height. And you've got an odd mix of bent grass, poa, Kentucky bluegrass and ryegrass in here that just isn't going to transition well to this height. So we're going to go ahead and get it out of here and, and put in some nice bent grass sod from the nursery. Here's a patch of perennial ryegrass mowed at 130 thousandths of an inch. Looks pretty good right now, but come the middle of summer it's not going to do too well. Um, one thing we had in this area is we felt like we had a little bit of a crown where the old collar was. Even in this video you might be able to see what appears to be a little bit of crowning. And So we went ahead and surveyed it with the laser back there on the back of green, the green. And found that there really isn't much of a crown here. It's fairly level until you get to the sand spots you can see and then it drops off towards the collar a little bit. And um, not very much. And we're going to go ahead and leave that because it actually provides just a little bit of a channel here for the water to make its way off the green. It moves down this way, catches this channel, and goes off the green before it runs into the bunker. Um, wanting to come back and hit the same survey spots that we used the first time, tried a little trick here that we came up with. We pulled a plug out using a soil probe and then filled it with sand. So now when we remove the sod and we want to come back and check these same spots, we'll be able to check the exact same spots because the plug will be visible because of the sand.